In this video, you will see Julian and Alyssa watch an animation of water being poured into a pitcher, and they'll think about the following question. What is the rate of change of height with respect to volume? Whether it's constant, increasing, decreasing, both increasing and decreasing, or something else. I'll play the animation now. As they work, consider the understandings they express and determine if their reasoning is valid. It started off like getting faster, mm -hmm. and at some point around here was like getting slower once you get closer to the top. Yeah. So like it was like like the speed of which like it was increasing like so it was like increasing pretty fast here mm -hmm. but then like and then like it was at like a fastest point around yeah, here maybe and then so, the pour yeah. like since it got thinner it was it's like slowed down um but still increased like we're not taking out water but it was slower so um, since it was slower is the rate then like decreasing? Yes. Yeah, because like the height is not decreasing, the volume is not decreasing, but like the rate itself is decreasing because it's not as fast. Yeah. So then, like, if it's really fast here, and then like is like slow here, is it like increasing and then like decreasing there? I mean, one thing to notice with the so like I think that the fact that like at each point like the if we think about like the little circle that mm -hmm. I can draw this way. Like that's a really bad circle, but like imagine it was like we kinda like cut the cylinder yeah. at that point and we have just like a sliver and it should I think like based on the picture that it should be the same area as like this circle and that circle up there like the height here right over here mm -hmm. that was weird um so like say that's height one and this is height two and make this height three mm -hmm. like the area of these circles would be the same. the same if we think about like the volume Say like if we did like the volume of this, that height one, um, like if I increase, I don't know what the units are, but like maybe like one one millimeter or something. Like if I add one millimeter of water, like say we get like a height, I don't know, like what's a good height? I don't know. Like we'll go with one centimeter, sure. It's a very tiny cup. Um, and then, so if it increases that, then maybe like if we increase another one millimeter, sorry, this is really messy, but I'm thinking that it might also increase by one centimeter, which I guess would make it constant. But then if we had like, so I'm just going to redraw this cylinder really quickly and we started off let's say here and this was like the original time mm -hmm. so like i i think i understand what you're saying like if we're increasing by constant like by constant amount but like let's say at like let's say this was at height is it one mm -hmm. so then at t equals one it might have gone up just one. Oh, that should be a two i'm sorry like it might have just gone up like one more step but like we also said it got faster. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking maybe like if it's at time two, um, try that my house, time two, then with the faster pour, it should there should be more water. So like let's say like this might be like 3.5. Okay. But then up here it might have at let's say like T3, it might have only been like four. Mm -hmm. So I, I agree with like it's I guess a like constant all the way through, but then like it gets faster and slower. So I'm 
So is that more going back to like our first thinking that it's both increasing and decreasing? I think so. Okay. In this video, Julian and Alyssa tried to determine the rate of change of height with respect to volume. They came up with reasons for why it might be increasing or decreasing or constant. We'll explore how to think about this problem in upcoming videos.